Good morning fam, welcome back to another episode of Benji's Vlogs and whatnot. We are back at it again. It is a Friday morning. As you can tell, the sun is well and truly up for this morning. It's also nine degrees Celsius, which is something Fahrenheit. I'll have to go and have another look at that before we leave. But it's gonna be a good day nonetheless, because it is Friday, so that's always a good thing. Not only that, guys, we are going to a market tomorrow. So one I haven't been to before, because it is a brand new market. So that will be fun to go and uh, have a gander at that. Uh, not only that, tomorrow afternoon we decided to do the breaks here at home. We do have the equipment that we need to uh, get it all sorted out because when we bought the brake pads, we bought the other tools that we needed. Because I thought one day I might get back into the whole mechanical world, but we'll see how that goes. But in the meantime, we're going to enjoy the day as it comes. We are going to go for a quick little walk around the block because it is quite a pleasant day today. Blue skies as you can tell, 88 to 90 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm sitting in here in a bloody jumper though. What am I thinking? I certainly do hope that tomorrow is going to be like this. Nice and cloudy, not a little bit too hot. Anything that's around 80 degrees would be bloody nice. Instead of 88, 90 degrees Fahrenheit, it'd be bloody awesome. Like change of plans guys, the <clears throat> Matting Lee market wasn't on so we had to come to the Dali market which is still on until about 1 o'clock so I'm going to quickly duck into here and see what we can find. As you can see just over there guys there's some clean products, just over there some uh, plants, a little bit further down is going to be some uh, uh, like tools and gardening tools and all that sort of stuff. One thing I love about this place is there's so many different varieties of things. Up the other end there's like um, little toys like fidget spinners, Pokemon cards, all that sort of fun stuff. So we'll see what we can find. I only got about 70 bucks but still, still find something. So we've just finished up with the market guys. Be honest with you, bit of a flop. Not as many stores as I once were here, probably what six months ago, eight months ago, if not longer. But we ended up, still ended up getting something, so I'm gonna get it home and give it a go. It is a very nice piece of uh, dried meat. Well, I wasn't too bit shy of uh, a res reasonably good day today, hardly any clouds. Uh, the really problem is it's 35 degrees or 90 degrees Fahrenheit. <sighs> Henceforth as well we've got the car more under cover. Trying to do it out in the sun, uh -uh, not a good idea. Not a good idea at all. I've got some of the stuff set up already. I've got the sucker jig going. I'm about to jack her up, get the left hand side brakes done first, and then we'll do this side. And luckily enough we've got some stands that we'll put underneath the car while we're doing it. So, I'll get stuck into it and get it done. Oh, this sucks guys. I'm trying to get this wheel off on the left hand side. And, uh, well, one of the wheel nuts, such as this one, this one's actually fine, is uh, beveled. Basically the edges of the thing like right here are all rounded. So we are having trouble getting the bloody thing off. So I'm gonna have to go for a drive down to Super Cheap, see if we can find any tools that we can get it off with and get a whole new set of these. I don't really want to, but it'll have to be the case. So I've just finished up a Super Cheap Auto. We may have the end result in our midst, but we'll have to keep an eye out just in case. So we have a multi-hexed socket that we're gonna try on the nut and Got some new wheel nuts to chuck on the car if and when we can get this bloody fixed. But now, let's go and see if we can get it done. Oh, God, God, guys. Whose idea was to do this? We finally got one side done. 
and this is the culprit right here. I don't know if you guys can really see that, but it's not it's supposed to look like that. And it's supposed to be a lot better than that. I'll just scoot over here, show you exactly what I mean. Because we went and bought some new ones, they're supposed to look like that. As you can tell with the very sharp edge there, that is the way that they're supposed to be. Not like that with rounded corners, which was a bit of a pain in the backside because we managed to get one of these sockets right there on there, hammered it on there, and we managed to get it free with the breaker bar. Now, we're about to get started on the other side. But the main reason why I wanted to get it done now, or this weekend, is due to this bad boy right here. As you can tell, there's not much flesh on that at all. There's probably at least two mil, two and a half mil of beef on there when well, it's supposed to look like this. You can definitely see a massive difference in that. That is for sure. That's why I wanted to get these brakes done this weekend. Now, it's a good thing that we did. It's gonna be pissing down rain tomorrow, but it is bloody hot now. 90 degrees Fahrenheit, 35 degrees Celsius, thereabouts. Whew. Good time to do it, get it done. All right, got this one ready to go, guys. Should just come straight off without any problems. Oh, there goes one brake bay. Oh, still looks like we've got a bit of brake left on this one, but still, I'd much prefer to change it all around. I'll get it over and done with now. So now we need to get that sorted out. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, now comes the fun part of getting all this. Actually, yeah, that's what I bought. Four meat on it. So most of the braking has been done that side. Yeah. I'm still going to need to use that to do yeah. this. All right. I'll get this set up, ready to go. Get Dad to do the sucky sucky with the machine. Uh, basically what this machine is doing now guys is going to be pushing this piston here back into the housing which is right there as you can tell is where all the piston sits in that big thing there I do apologize for the next few seconds it's going to be quite noisy So as you can see, it's pushing it in nice and slowly, which is exactly what we want, so I can fit in the other brakes when time comes for it. So the piston is now, in theory, should be all the way in. Yep, I reckon that will be it. Alright, the fun part is now here. Should be fine. And as you can tell, that's what holds it in basically. And the little piston just here. Push those in just a wee bit. Ciao. Just like that. That's how it goes. So that should be fine. Other ones go right there, but it will be going down here. Like that. And this will go like that. Right over the top.
Uh, that's it guys, we're done. Brakes are in, finally. <sighs> Not a good idea. good idea to do it in 90 degrees Fahrenheit. And being such a big boy, it gets very hard. And I wouldn't have been able to do it without the old man helping us out. I'm pretty happy with that guys. Got 112,000 miles out of uh, front brake pads, which isn't too bad. They put it, kept it, uh, kept on going, but with the left hand side being uh, not so crash hot. So well, basically, as I said, done about 112,825 miles with the brake pads as they are. That's about 181,000 uh, kilometers. So if we just change that back it's 181,576 kilometers so that is pretty impressive for brake pads I'm pretty happy with that now that we're nice and dirty as per the usual we're gonna go and have a dunk and get rid of all of this crap I will have one more look at the reservoir see if anything's gone down just in case there's any air bubbles in the brakes because that's one thing we do not want in the near future is air bubbles in the brake lines because if we have any air bubbles we won't be able to stop properly and if we don't stop properly that's one or two or maybe three uh three things i'm gonna kill myself i'm gonna kill someone else i'm gonna crash the car which really goes into those first two things but anyways we are done we're gonna have a final check over and we're gonna go and have a wash so i'll see you guys in a little while oh well, there we are guys shower's done Oh my goodness, should have waited until tomorrow, but then it would have been wet and cold tomorrow. Would have gotten cold, not good, but we were pretty lucky that we were able to get it under the shed when we did to have that little cover of uh, from the shade, in the shade. I can't even think straight guys, <laughs> but what I'm trying to say is the brakes are done. We finished with them for another hopefully 150. 80,000 or 112,000 mile <sighs> We're just gonna sit back in here. And yes, I got a little little nervous sitting back there in the cool as well It's just a wee bit too hot That also reminds me too guys the thing that we ended up buying at the market the only thing surprisingly enough was venison salami mild salami that's not too hot. I don't think um doesn't really say anyway it doesn't really tell me how hot this is it is made up of 95% of Australian ingredients but uh, whether or not that is true or not is debatable but anyways that is the only thing that we bought at the market there wasn't really much to go by uh, there was only half the amount of stores there so couldn't really do much or buy much or anything else except for that Dad ended up buying himself a boar, wild boar salami stick as well. So we're going to give that a go in the next couple of days. We're going to have to make a separate um, um, video for that. But for now, I'm going to leave that there because it's good until about mid next year. So um, like I said, we're making straggle videos for the rest of this year. And uh, this is uh, going to pipe down from now because uh, I am stuffed. I'm going to sit back and relax for the rest of the day, and we'll pick this up tomorrow. It is Sunday and it is on the brink of raining. Ooh, tell me a wet day today. Probably a good thing that we got that uh, those brakes done yesterday. <laughs> uh, I honestly thought I was going to be bloody sore this morning, but I'm actually feeling pretty good. I slept pretty well. Well, considering that it took me ages to fall asleep. Uh, it took me about an hour or so longer than usual to get to sleep 
because we went to bed about 11, but it wasn't until about midnight before we decided to fall asleep officially. Uh, we did get up at about 6.45, 7 o'clock. It's about 8 o'clock now, so I've been just sitting here watching TikTok videos most of the morning. But, yeah, I'm actually feeling really good. Like, I'm not stiff in the knees or back or anything like that. So I'm actually surprised that we survived all the breaks. That's always good. Very good. This would have to be my favourite part of the day. It's probably about 8.30 in the morning. Sunday morning. There's not many cars going by. But you do hear the occasional one go by. But the best part is hearing all the birds. Probably that's half the reason why I'm always getting up at 6 o'clock in the morning. Probably come and see out the back. I did see a baby sparrow just a few moments ago sitting just here and it managed to bounce right along there and it's sitting just over there somewhere and you can just barely hear it. Oh, it's not making a noise now but it was. Oh yeah, favourite part of the day is I wouldn't say too early in the morning, but early enough to enjoy the morning sounds. Ah, yes, she's decided to open up just a wee bit, guys. Smell of fresh rain hitting the ground. Cannot beat it. I love living out here where it's nice, open properties, and we don't have skyscrapers over our flipping heads. I'm not really fond of being a city slicker. I do apologise to those who are city slickers. But the city's not for me. Being out here is. Being where birds are, where flowers can be, where I can go for walks down at the Lady Dirk National Park. Places like that is where I truly love to be. I've always been a bush kid. I've always been a person that loved the outdoors. I just never did anything with it because <laughs> I'm too much of a lazy prick. But it's always a pleasure to have the rain around and to have a bit of dark cloud and by the looks of those clouds coming in I reckon this rain will be opening up hopefully relatively soon or re and relatively well and I'm certainly grateful that we didn't have to put washing out here today because it is, uh, as you can tell, pretty wet at the moment good thing that we've got uh, washing lines in there and we can uh, we just put a whole heap there Probably should have done it yesterday when it was 90 degrees Fahrenheit. <clears throat> We've dried it pretty darn quick, but because what we're doing the car, we uh, well, didn't bother doing the washing. So we did that now. But anyways, guys, I'm going to call it a day, call it a video. There's not much else we can really do for the day. It's basically going to be a wet and windy day. It has been pretty windy. As you guys can tell with the tree behind us, it is blowing. So I'm gonna go inside, rest up for the rest of this weekend, get started for another week this week. Luckily enough for me, it's only three and a half days because it's Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and half Thursday because Christmas Day is on Friday. I think it's on Friday. But either way, gonna have a three and a half day week this week. So I'm pretty darn happy about that. Get what we need to get done done and go from there because we are very happy that we get 10 days of just rest and whatever else that we wanna do. So I'm pretty happy about that. But for now, I'm gonna call it a, call it a video. Until the next time, guys. Thanks for being a part of it. Thanks for watching. Until the next time, keep it easy.